PC Miscellaneous, bringing you the best unboxing, reviews, and other related videos. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the unboxing of the Philco Camouflage Magistouch 2 10 keyless keyboard. So on the side of the keyboard, it gives you the specifics of the keyboard. The body color is a camouflage, which they like to call multicam. The key arrangement is US87, which is a 10 keyless. Um, they use Cherry MX black key switches, and it does feature N key rollover, which is compatible only in the PS2 mode. So, if you're to use USB physically, you're limited to six keys. So basically, if you have the PS2 on, you have pretty much the best anti-ghosting ever. Cool. So here's the model number: FKBN87ML-EMU2. Now, real quick, Multicam is their line from Philco, which has the multimedia keys. So if you were to use the function keys and some F1 through 8 keys, you have multimedia control. So first, I have the quick start guide and user manual. Um, it's mainly in Japanese because Philco is a Japanese company. So basically, it's just saying uh, handle the keyboard with care and place it on a flat surface. Now here is the USB to PS2 connector. It is in camo green, but it is not gold plated. But it is PS2, so it's kind of needless to say useless to be in gold so but it is very nice that they do include one for you that does match the cable now on to the accessories so they've included some WASD keys which do come in an olive or kind of a lighter camo green very nice touch normally if you were to buy these on your own there would be like five bucks and also they do include a key puller which I have not seen in many other keyboards um, maybe they include a cheap key puller but not one like this so for this key puller you can use it for the larger keys like shift enter and backspace and spacebar now when I first saw the keyboard I was just amazed. I mean, I thought the camo the camo print was going to be a little cheesy, to be honest. Um, I thought it was going to look kind of childish, but it actually looks really cool. Um, the camouflage really grew on me. Um, I like it a lot. So when pressing the keys, I felt a really s solid build construction. Um, so just typing on it real quick. Um, I actually fell in love with it within like the first few seconds of typing on it. So on the back here, you have four rubber feet, which are made for non-slip. And they also included risers, so if you want some elevation to your keyboard, you can just pop those up and you got a little elevation there. And they also did include the rubber feet on the uh, the risers. I like my keyboard flat, so I'm just going to leave it flat. So with this keyboard, they feature CoStar stabilizers, which are an aftermarket stabilizer. Um, I like them a lot better just because they don't give you a mushy feel and they're just solid all around and you only need the stabilizers for shift, spacebar, enter and backspace okay so here I'm just gonna remove the WASD keys and replace it with the included camo green WASD key. So here, this is what makes a Cherry MX black. The actual key switch itself 
is colored black. It's similar to a red switch, but it just requires less force. Oh, I'm sorry, the reds require less force than the blacks. So if you're a heavy-handed typist, you will like the blacks better rather than the reds, which are a little more sensitive. I like the camo keys, so I'm just going to leave those on there. I think it adds a nice contrast to the board and just makes the board look aesthetically pleasing. Okay, now on to the cable. They do include a nice camo green braided cable. Um, the USB connector is gold plated, which is nice. And the cable length itself is 6 feet. Okay, so lastly, I just want to talk about the function key. So for us gamers, I know the function key is really nice because you can uh, adjust the sound in-game and play music in-game without having to alt-tab. So you have F1, F2, F3, which is for volume up, volume down, and mute. You have rewind as F5, play, pause, stop, and forward. And lastly, you have a sleep mode. Now. They still did include the Windows key, which is on the right-hand side. So if you want to use Windows Tab or just access the Start menu, you do have that option. And that pretty much wraps it up. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you guys subscribe for more for more videos. Um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks. Bye.